Hello my dear students, welcome back to learn eco with fun. So in this video what we learn, today I am going to discuss measures to control the environmental degradation. Okay, so when I was discussing the uh, main causes of environmental degradation at that time I had given, I told, at that time I told that you must do the opposite of that in the first point in that video you find that increase in population so here I have written the population control continuous increase in pollution so here I have written the pollution control okay that was the next was the poverty was the basic factors for environmental degradation and here I have written that is the eradication or removal of poverty. So whatever the factors you have already studied, <coughs> when, we, when we just make it opposite, what will you get? You will get the measures to control environmental degradation. So in this video we will learn or uh, we, I am going to discuss how the population control, pollution control, eradication of poverty will help to control the environmental degradation. So with increase in the economic activities uh, to achieve the desired level of economic growth, industrialization and urbanization have increased, which has caused the environmental degradation. So the following measures must be taken to overcome the problem of environmental degradation and the first and foremost that is the population control. So there is an urgent need to check the population growth. It will help to maintain the balance between the extraction of environmental resources and their regenerations. So fall in the growth rate of population will help in maintaining the ecological balance by reducing the size of environmental degradation. So this, in this way we can control the uh, environmental degradation. Second that is the pollution control. So pollution control is very basic measures to keep air, water and noise pollution under check. So the agriculture pollution, agricultural pollution should be controlled uh, by motivating the farmers to use the environment friendly fertilizers and pesticides. In a simple word we can say the farmers should use maximum that is the organic farming. Industrial pollution can be also checked by promoting the use of better technology, provision of uh, depreciation of natural capitals. Next. If we move towards the transportation, it can be also controlled by encouraging car pools, expanding public transport. We must use CNG or LPG in the vehicles. How we can control the water pollution? So water pollution can also be checked by inspecting the supply of toxic substances which is supplied into the water. So for this, emission standards for the industries should be fixed by the government and in this way we can control the pollution. Next come to the eradication of poverty. Eradication means removal of poverty. So removal of poverty is very essential to safeguard our environment. Solving this problem of poverty we will uh, help the people moving. What? to such jobs uh, which protect the environments. They will move away from the cutting of trees, fishing, etc. for their livelihood. Uh, the most important thing, they will not use the excessive uh, agricultural inputs such as fertilizers, pesticides and insecticides. Next, that is the creating awareness among masses. So masses means the general people. They have the no knowledge. So we should aware them regarding the environmental degradation. 
So environmental degradation is a challenge to India's environment, which can be solved only by active participation of people. Okay? Thank you. Sorry, sorry. There are some points are also that is the management of solid waste. Okay, so how the management of solid waste can be controlled? So there should be uh, plant management treatment uh, of solid waste. How the plant management will take place? That is very common. That is the uh, dumping garbage into the landfills and open fields should be checked okay alternate alternative and proper arrangement should be also made to dump waste solid waste should be treated uh, scientifically and uh, it must be measured to term natural uh, or sorry ruler waste uh, such as the compost uh, or we should uh, what we should invent the new techniques so that the solid waste can be easily uh, managed now come to the developing urban areas so how we can develop the urban areas so as we know that migration of people from rural areas to urban areas creates the pressure on environmental resources so this should be handled by developing urban areas by uh, converting unutilized land and other resources of urban areas to plant township and the other required settlements for their job. So in a simple words we can say uh, the growing population when they migrate from uh, rural areas to urban areas they must be settled only those land which is unutilized and the township, township should be spread uh, in such a way so that uh, they can get the job from one place to another place next is the uh, suitable pattern of economic growth so what is the suitable growth of economic uh, economic growth so suitable pattern means we can say that is the pattern adopted to achieve economic development should be environment friendly or environmental uh, environment friendly system should be developed and that is known as suitable pattern of economic growth but you will ask some question what are the environment friendly systems so the answer should be the policy should be adopted in such a way so that the afforestation, uh, regulation of industries, town planning, cleaning water bodies, disposal of sways and trade, uh, if, uh, trade related policies should be implemented. The measures which combine uh, command and control method to protect the environment should be in initiated and that is known as suitable pattern of economic growth but the most important term in this case will be what government should initiate such policies which aim at re, uh, restorations of degradation or degraded environments okay so the government should take the initiative he must make the policies and in this way the suitable pattern of economic growth possible next is the and the last but not the least adopting sustainable development so we have already discussed about the sustainable development is a process in which uh, we fulfill our uh, not uh, we fulfill our present needs but also we should preserve for the future without natural degradation or natural uh, losses of environment so that's why here the term has come uh, adopting sustainable development so the concern for the future generation uh, every people 
should be aware uh, how to protect the resources, how it can be used so that our future generation may sustain. So sustainable development should be adopted for secure livelihood for future generation. The most important I have already discussed whatever the demand today we have we should also use uh, only those method which will help us to generate what to generate uh, sorry for the regenerations of resources or to generate more and more resources okay so in this way I have completed these chapters uh, in different videos you will uh, go through the books and try to mug up all these points so that you can write the answer in a better way. Okay? Thank you.